the Bible tells us, and, and we're going to come right back here in 1 Peter 4. I'm just going to quote you from 2, Peter, or excuse me, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. The Bible says, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. God has, has given us a job to be an ambassador for him. Amen. And this is an important job that, that all believers have. This isn't just a job given to pastors. This isn't just a job given to evangelists. This is a job for every single believer that we are ambassadors for Jesus Christ to reconcile people to God. We are supposed to be going forward and preaching the gospel because guess what? When Jesus Christ came to this earth the first time and he lived his life and he performed his earthly ministry and he died on the cross and rose again from the dead, he ascended up into heaven and that's where he is right now. He isn't still walking around on this earth preaching the gospel and getting people saved in the flesh. He's left us here to do that. And that is every believer's job. Since he's not here, we are supposed to be ambassadors. We are supposed to be bringing forth the gospel. We're supposed to be preaching the word of God. Since he's not here, we are his ambassador. We represent Jesus Christ. Every time you go out, you know what? Every breath that you breathe, you ought to be representative of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is why it's so important to be able to live a life that is above reproach. Because since you are a representative, you are an ambassador for Jesus Christ, we don't want to bring shame on his name. Right. Now, look, I know that none of us here are perfect. We're sinful. We're sinners. But that doesn't give you an excuse to go out and sin and to bring shame on the name of Christ. Right. Right. Just because you know that you're not perfect doesn't mean you're not going to strive to be better and to just not bring shame. How about, how about we um, make a concerted effort to do everything we can in our power to be the best ambassador that we can possibly be. Our actions, our character, our spirit will reflect upon the person that we're representing, which is Jesus Christ. We are ambassadors for Christ. And, you know, I've been on this challenge kick pretty much ever since I came here about two years ago is when I issued my first challenge. It was a soul winning challenge. And ever since then, I started instituting more and more challenges in our church. I like the challenge. I don't like just being comfortable and just kind of going through my Christian life and going like, well, I'm going so winning an hour a week and I'm doing this by we're gonna be right and everything's just just easy and there's really no nothing kind of stirring you up a little bit or, or inconvenient. Right? I, I like pushing people just enough, not so much where you're just like, oh man, forget this, I can't do it, you know, to the point of just quitting. You don't want the personal trainer that's just gonna be like yeah, that's just weight. <laughs> You're going to bench 600 pounds. Like, yeah, I can't do that. No, but we need to be pushed to keep pushing, getting stronger and going more and more. And I like doing that. Our church, we got some church members here. They'll testify. Like, yeah, Pastor Burzum is always trying to get us to do more stuff. But um, hopefully we can take some challenges to heart. And tonight, my challenge is just look inside yourself. Are you being a good ambassador for Jesus Christ? Are you living a life above reproach? Are you being the best ambassador that you could be? We started off in 1 first, in first Peter chapter 4. Look at verse number 14. The Bible says, if you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you. So I just want to start off differentiating being reproached for Christ versus living a life that brings reproach on the name of Christ. So if you are reproached, if people cast out your name as evil, as your name is wicked, and they say all manner of evil against you falsely, because of the stand you take on the Bible, because you're representing Jesus Christ. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that being a bad thing. That's not the living above reproach that I'm referring to. That's a good thing. If people cast out your name as evil, the Bible says, hey, rejoice. Amen. Leap for joy. Be glad because great is your reward in heaven for so did they to the, to the prophets that were before you. That is what we can expect of being reproached by the world because of the belief that we have, because of the word of God, because of the, the stands that we take that are scriptural and biblical. But there's a different type of reproach that you can receive, that you, that you could bring on the name of Christ when you are not following his word, when you're being a hypocrite, when you're bringing shame to the name of Christ because of the way that you live.